Hello there and welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Modani Mushiri. ODM leader Raila Odinga has allayed fears of a fallout in the National Super Alliance, NASA, over delay in the naming of the coalition's flag bearer. Mr. Odinga accused the media of creating unnecessary anxiety, saying that the four leaders in NASA will respect the outcome of the selection process being done by a special technical committee on how nominations will be conducted across the country and how the coalition will pick its flag bearer. I don't think, I don't see any difficulties in this at all. I don't think that it can cause friction. Uh, we have a team, uh, a, 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 a coordinating team, which is uh, working on this, and they are going to make recommendations to us. And once we have gotten that recommendation, we will um, uh, accept it. So I, 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 I don't see any problem. I, I don't see why this media is getting too much anxiety. Who is the flag bearer? Who is going to run out? And so on. Everybody has said they're not running out. So we, we will have a, a team. And residents of Cabasarian Avenue in Lavington, Nairobi, have raised concerns over illegal construction within the estate. They have accused an investor behind the project of using the office of the Director of Criminal Investigations to protect the project despite an order from Nairobi County stopping the construction. The ownership of this piece of land next to Mudangari Police Station in Nairobi is contested. The Directorate of Criminal Investigation, which was investigating the matter, has now been sucked into the controversy amid claims that its officer are taken sides. According to documents seen by NTV, the claimants in the suit says his company acquired the prime property on a lease basis of 999 years in the year 1910. The seven-acre land had previously been claimed by two firms associated with Kiambu Governor William Kabogo and a businesswoman Lena Koinange. During the court hearing before Justice George Odunga, it emerged that a company known as Transroad Kenya Limited had borrowed a total of 231 million from a bank and used the title to the land as security. But according to court documents, the Commission of Land denied having signed the title the bank is holding. Justice George Odunga then ordered the Director of Criminal Investigation, Degwa Moro, to commence investigation to ascertain the authenticity of the title. But even before the investigations are concluded, construction on the site is underway. Nyeri's new governor, Samuel Wamadhai, has pledged to fight corruption in his administration. Speaking moments after being sworn in as Nyeri's new county boss, Ambassador Wamadhai said he would effectively execute his duties without fear. He also vowed not to tolerate corruption and dishonesty. The governor took oath of office in a ceremony presided over by Justice Jarius Nga. Mr. Wamadhai was the deputy governor until last week when Governor Nderitu Gashagwa died at a hospital in the UK. And the four bodies found last week inside an abandoned vehicle in Gitaru near Kikuyu town have been identified. The bodies were identified on Monday as those of David Shege, a doctor, Juan Mwangi, a matatu conductor, Martin Musioka, a 38-year-old Mutumba seller in Mwea who lives in Thika, and Mr. Shadrach Junguna, a 39-year-old butcher who lives in Umoja. Dr. Shege's family claimed he was killed by administration police officers, and the family claimed the deceased had filed a complaint against the police for killing his son on suspicion that he was a thug. And finally, coming-of-age drama Moonlight won the coveted Best Picture Award at Sunday's Oscars, but the evening ended in chaos as La La Land, already the winner of six prizes that night, was first mistakenly handed the award. La La Land producers Jordan Horowitz and Mark Platt had given acceptance speeches before the mistake was discovered. PricewaterhouseCoopers, the accounting firm responsible for, trip to for tabulating Oscar ballots, apologized for the error and admitted Warren Beatty and Faye Dunway were handed the wrong envelope. And that's it for us for now. For these and more stories, log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke. I'm Mudoni Mushiri. Goodbye.